So I wanted to make another video. This one is on cumulative layout shift. You might be wondering, what is cumulative layout shift? Well, it's simple. Basically, Google on uh, go onto Google and type into like page speeds insights, like Google that, and you can get there. And the long story short is, it is a uh, it's a thing you're judged against both in the Lighthouse audit and in PageSpeed Insights. And what it is is it's um basically your page moves as it's loaded. So how it works is you have a web page that loads, right? And you have like the the thing is here. Let's say you have um I'll flip this around. Okay, so this TV remote. This one is my content. It's a bunch of text and stuff, right? And then this little uh, thing here, this is my logo. Whoa. You know, and then this here, this is going to be my header bar, right? And now, so let's say the header bar is in the head of the page of the HTML. And so when the header bar is in the head of the page, it's in what's called the critical rendering path. Now, the critical rendering path is important because it, it's rendered before the rest of the stuff. It's just like, oh, the critical rendering path, you're important. The rest of the stuff, eh, kind of loser -y scuzz. So the long story short is that, uh, like, this stuff is first. And so for the longest time, what people would do is they would do things called a synchronization and deferment of scripts and style sheets. And what that means is, so, like, let's say I have this big script somewhere. Okay, here. So I have this big script. And this script is just massive, right? And it does all sorts of stuff. makes the buttons move around, like, in a big circle or something, right? And so this script is massive. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to actually run this script right now. I'm going to have my page load this little logo, this head bar, this content, and then it will load this script, because this script isn't relevant. So I'm going to asynchronize this to run at the end of the page, or defer this to run at the end of the page. There are two different methods, but they do pretty much the same thing. I mean, for this explanation. And so um, what it does is it causes, okay, now it's like the end of the page, and this thing will do its motion now, or whatever it's doing. Let's say, oh, we're hiding. Oh, we're unhiding. Cool. It does some, like, JavaScript function. And so what happens after this is you have a situation where, uh, you know, the page will move. And uh, this is where it gets tricky. So, like, like, if you have all this script, and so your page might load, and maybe there is a style sheet. And let's say uh, this is a style sheet. Right over here, obviously it's on a great analogy. And this style sheet's loading down here. It's a physical location of the code, it's like toward the bottom, right? And so uh, when, this, when the people are looking at this, like they're like, oh, this is what the page looks like. Because the page is like 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. Oh, you can all see this now. 60%, and then the thing jitters around for the JavaScript. And it's like, okay, 70%, 80%. And the thing moves down like a good 80 pixels because some CSS in there says to move it downward. Well, that CSS executes after the rendering of the DOM. It's like, uh, it's once all the important stuff has been run, then it runs that. And so by forcing stuff to the end, you can cause this layout shift where like now we've got a big gap in this page. And another thing that layout CLSs are famous for is the page loads and the user wants to hit this big red button here the page loads and then he's hitting this button and he's like no 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 i've actually seen a gif i think on their uh page speed in or the the webmaster tools or whatever you actually go on there and it has like some guy who ordered something and it was like i want to order one of these things and then uh you can see him clicking and he's like uh trying to say one and it's like, do you want to order 72 of these? And he's like, no, 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 no. And uh, and it was like, thank you for confirming your order. And the guy's just, the mouse is just going around in circles. <laughs> like, <laughs> they were not happy. So, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Because people were getting inadvertently buying stuff. And it was, it was very poor website. Like, you know, 
Um, so Google added that as a ranking factor. They're like, well, you can't have cumulative layout shift. So one way to get rid of cumulative layout shift is uh, make all the stuff load at the same time. So if you're pushing off style sheets to the end, you're tempting fate, my friend. And then if you're pushing JavaScript to the end, just make sure the JavaScript doesn't include anything that would change the look of the page. You know, like if it's moving stuff around or making things bigger or smaller, like that would be, you know, worrisome. But if you had it loaded ahead of time, then it'd be fine. Obviously, it might increase the overall page load, but, you know, you can play with it and figure out what works. But yeah, that's the gist of it. That is CLS. And CLS is like the bane of existence of all the people who are like, if you have a lot of bloatware on your site and you're crushing it down like a garbage can, that is, um, you know, you, you probably have some problems with CLS. And they're a bit of a pain in the butt, but they can be done.